For the past 15 years, running marathons has been a way of life for 42-year-old Angela Hisner of Canton. But nearly two years ago, a family health emergency literally stopped her in her tracks. Angela's hero, her father, Dan Dakuliak, was diagnosed with stage 3 chronic kidney disease in his 50s. And when diagnosed with COVID in 2021, his kidney function went from 45 percent to just 15 percent. The now 70-year-old would need a new kidney to avoid dialysis and began the transplant process at Cleveland Clinic. But he wouldn't have to wait long for a donor. His own daughter, Angela, was an instant match. The transplant surgery taking place two years ago, Dr. Alvin Wee was the lead surgeon and says there are currently 90,000 people on the kidney transplant waiting list. Despite that we do this major record number of transplants, there are still more people that goes who needs a kidney. If you're healthy, you should be able to donate one of your kidneys. And Angela is just a very classic example. They put him on the list, but I said, I'm going to get checked because I want to donate my kidney to you because I know how long it takes to wait for something like that. And he didn't have that time. The surgery was a success. Angela worried that she would never be able to run again, or at least the same as she used to. But within three weeks after surgery, she ran her first five miles. And six months after that, another major hurdle. I ran another marathon because I was feeling so good and I was just so pumped up about it. And I did get a four hour marathon. They ate cake to mark their first transplant surgery anniversary, and there will be cake again for year number two on March 30th. A father-daughter bond now stronger than ever. Jennifer Jordan, Fox 8 News.